What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman. One thing we hadn't yet covered here at the channel was the very public criticism both by Francis Ford Coppola and of course Martin Scorsese here recently of Marvel films and at large the superhero genre of movies calling them specifically not film. And in a recent op-ed Martin Scorsese decided to dig in against those who had defended the films recently even some prominent Marvel actors and producers claiming that some of the elements he needed to see in cinema namely risk taking just weren't present in the Marvel films and that they lacked consequences. Now, while we hadn't heard any response at all from top brass Kevin Feige in an exclusive with The Hollywood Reporter breaking just within the last hour, he finally responded directly to that criticism from Martin Scorsese. We're going to break down exactly what he said, but first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we're giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros as well as a whole slew of other Marvel related stuff throughout the holiday season. All you have to do, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on this video and if you want, stick around at the end of the video. We'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Now, as I mentioned moments ago in the prologue, we had not covered this here at the channel and admittedly, full disclosure, it's because I'm totally biased. Of course, I think Marvel movies are not only cinema, but some of the best cinema that's out there. Yeah, shocker, I know. So it's only fair to recap what Martin Scorsese had to say and specifically in this New York Times op-ed that he just wrote. Here's a quick excerpt. Many of the elements that define cinema as I know it are there in Marvel pictures. What's not there is revelation, mystery, or genuine emotional danger. Nothing is at risk. The pictures are made to satisfy a specific set of demands and they are designed as variations on a finite number of themes. Now, in response to this, Kevin Feige had to say specifically, I think that's not true. I think it's unfortunate. I think myself and everybody that works on these movies loves cinema, loves movies, loves going to the movies, loves to watch a communal experience in a movie theater full of people. I think it's fun for us to take our success and use it to take risks and go in different places. He then expounded on exactly what he meant and in my opinion this is the part where he really not only shut down Martin Scorsese's argument but showed his ownership and authorship over the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He went on to say, we did Civil War. We had our two most popular characters get into a very serious theological and physical altercation. We killed half of our characters at the end of Infinity War. I think it's fun for us to take our success and continue to take risks. He went on to say everybody has a different definition of cinema. Everybody has a different definition of art. Everybody has a different definition of risk. Some people don't think it's cinema. Everybody is entitled to their opinion. Everyone is entitled to repeat their opinion. Everyone is entitled to write op-eds about that opinion. And I look forward to what will happen next. But in the meantime, we're going to keep making Marvel movies. And you can see Kevin Feige saying that with a light smile and a chuckle as he says singling out Martin Scorsese specifically they can repeat their opinion and write op-eds about their opinion and I look forward to seeing what will happen next but in the meantime as he puts it we're just going to keep making movies because we're killing it right now and nothing you can say or do can knock off our stride I think he really shuts him down they took a ton of risks and as people have covered at length and we really haven't gone into this channel because it was kind of past the subject matter in that movie specifically Civil War that he brought up they somehow found a way to take Tony Stark, who was ultimately the protagonist of the MCU, and for a movie or two, make him really the antagonist, the anti-hero, and the villain, and we all somehow still bought into it and loved it. Let's be real, he wanted to kill Winter Soldier. That's Tony Stark we're talking about, and we didn't hate him for it. We still loved him and loved it all the way through. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments about all of this. Is it nice to hear Kevin Feige finally weigh in and maybe defend themselves a little, even though they don't have to? And do you agree with what he had to say about them taking risks? I'm all ears. Let me know what you have to say in the comments. And quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. We're still giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, the next of which is at the 500,000 subscriber mark, which we are headlong into, should easily hit by month's end, if not week's end. All you have to do, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell. Leave a like and a comment on this video. That'll automatically enter you to win all the rest of the prizes that we're giving away here at the channel, like some Infinity Saga limited edition box sets that we'll be formally announcing next week, but all the same rules will apply. Hit the sub button, hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on this video. And because it's random, the more videos you like and comment on, the better chance you have of winning. My name's Michael Roman. This is Everything Always. Guys, thanks for checking out the channel and stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.